I don't know if y'all, this music is bumping, yo. This music is crazy. Man, how y'all feeling today? I feel like this is about to be like an online church service today. Yo, welcome to Max Maxwell Live. You know what it is, Wednesday, 7 p.m. here live on YouTube. Listen, I'm feeling it today. You know, today was actually a pretty crappy day, but I'm in here. I'm here with y'all. I hope y'all here with me. I got a special guest coming tonight, though. Hey, why do I sound like a radio host? I sound like a radio host. W79.9, this is number one hot tea. Now, nah, let me stop. What's up, y'all? I hope y'all enjoying y'all Wednesday. Um, let's, let's, let's get some business today, man, because it's going to be crazy. I got a special guest coming on with me today. Um, but it's cool. You know what this is? Every Wednesday at 7 o'clock, we go live. Uh, we just, you know, we talk about business, real estate, wholesaling. Ask your question. We do a full Q&A. And so hopefully we're going to do that today. Go to full hour for you guys. Um, I'm feeling this, man. So next week, this is what I want to do next week. Next week, uh, I want to bring some of y'all on live with me so I can give y'all some advice live. But you can't be bashful. You can't be scared because I'm going to give it to you straight. And you may not like it, but I'm only going to give you the best advice so you can go hard in the paint. Because that's all this is about. Go hard in the paint. Extra hard. Um, but y'all know what we do before we get started. I need y'all to drop where you're from. I need to see where I need to represent tonight. I see Southern California in the house. From New York to Tampa is in the house. You notice anytime somebody leave New York, they always gonna let you know. I left New York. I'm here now, but I'm still in New York. Play with me if you want to. I feel you. That's right. That's right. Nicole's in Detroit. Says that anybody needs something, hit her up. Detroit's in the house. Bring me up live. So next week we're gonna be doing this. We're gonna be doing this. I mean, we live right now, but next week I'm gonna bring some of y'all on live. Make sure you have your cameras ready. We gonna go side by side. I'm gonna give you some advice. You gonna tell me what's going on? Indy's in the house. Houston's in the house. Winston Salem in the Winston Salem in the house. Trey Four. You know what it is. And my guy. Oh, Rock Hill. Oh, come on, man. What's up, Jordan? Rock Hill's in the house. If you ever need something down in Rock Hill. South Carolina, North Carolina real estate. You know, Jordan, man. That's that guy. But tonight's guest is going to be pretty cool, man. Um, I think y'all going to learn some things from him because I've been able to watch him get the introduction to wholesaling and then be able to just go hard in the paint. But, you know, something I noticed about people that are successful in this business, they've always went hard in the paint. Like they've always went hard in the paint in everything they do. And so it just carries on over into this whole whole thing. So. Do me a favor, y'all, so we can beat this YouTube algorithm. It, first of all, if you're not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. It costs you nothing. Um, if you're not subscribed, come on, do me a favor. Anyways, outside of that, I need you to hit the like button, and I need you to share this stream. We need to beat the YouTube algorithm. We need to get some people up in here, a whole lot of people. If not, I'm going to start singing for y'all, and then I'm going to lock you guys out, and you ain't going to be able to go anywhere. You see what I'm saying? So... Uh, Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button before we get started. We can do some Q&A. This song is, this beats is cutting up. Matt, did you make these beats today? I feel like I got to freestyle a little bit. If y'all don't get me, if y'all don't get 150 before we get started, I'm going to start freestyling for y'all. I'm going to drop like a hot, hot 48. I'm going to drop a hot 48 bars on y'all. You see New York to Charlotte. You see how New Yorkers always say, yo, I'm, I'm from New York, but I'm here now. Carolina boys in the building. How you feeling? Hey, Kevin, we're going to talk about all the Q&A questions you got. We're going to talk about affordable housing. We're going to talk about wholesaling. We're going to talk about whatever you want to talk about. Where we at? We should have, we should have some few people up here today. Let me check my phone. All right, y'all know what it is. All right, cool. Let's go live. What y'all want to do? Y'all want to go live? Y'all want to live with me? Let's do it. We about to go live. No, I mean, we are live. I mean, we about to just get started. Somebody said Jamaica in the building. That's what's up, man. Well, I'm telling my yard people them. You see it? Florida's in the house. Let's hear it. 
he said may max music may max music all right cool let's let's uh let's do this man um so today let me introduce my guest like the proper way uh my guy is like has just been i think he's been crushing life and so he got into this whole uh real estate wholesaling and i don't think it's really been that long and so since it hasn't been that long i've just been able to see this guy grow he's right down the street in charlotte i remember the first time we met in person was at a cigar shop in greensboro he actually invited me out and he just wanted to say thank you and so um it's dope that you know i've been able to see him grow to got a team and everything doing flips and all that um my guy was a professional soccer player he actually played against my my cousin who was a professional soccer player as well but uh welcome to the building my guy wes knight wes what's up man it's a whole you know, screen screen music is a whole vibe at, at wholesale i didn't say he was good at technology all he got to do is unmute himself and then we're gonna be in there <laughs> Now this is a Matt thing. Never mind. Matt bring his audio in. Matt, man. Get on your business. Matt, this Can is his first day. <laughs> anyway, since we botched the introduction, we're just gonna give Matt a few seconds to bring my guy Wes in here to make sure uh we got it. You wanna dance to make it fun? Can you hear me? Hello? Oh, wait. Check check. Wait till Matt gives me the Okay. Check, check. Bring that music back up there. Yeah, I got the music. Oh, I can't hear it. Oh, that's Boo Boo. Uh oh. Kick, kick, West. Yo. No. That sounds like alien stuff. <laughs> oh, Matt, what are you doing? I'm live on YouTube. Matt's in the game right now. He said, "Can you come out of it? Can you come out of AirPods?" Is that better? I'm hearing an echo. I'm hearing an echo. Oh wow. Oh wow. Mm. We're gonna figure this out. We're gonna figure this out. If I would have gave up, I would have gave, gave up. up. Gotta keep going. Gotta keep going. Gotta keep going. What's that, man? What's that, man? What's that, man? Uh Wes, he's gonna say what's his name. Come back. Come back. In the meantime, bump yeah. the music, bro. See, Matt, this is his first day, but actually his second year. Where we gonna play some music? Anyway, so we gonna uh, I'm gonna do some questions a little bit until Matt figures this out. All right, we fixing this, y'all. Don't go with me. We just jam it out. This is like in real life. And I got an echo. You hear me? Max, you got me? All right, let's do this again, because 
I think I'm hearing West loud and clear now. You got me? I got you, Wes. I, All I right. Yo, Yo, Wes. Max, the green room music is on a whole different vibe, bro. It's, it's you had me on 10. All right. So, uh, there we go. Mute me. I promise we'll figure this out. Yeah. Can y'all hear me? Wes, can you hear me? Listen, this is what happens when you're when you're at the forefront yeah, of content. There we go. How about now? I got you. All right, look, yo. I can hear about, myself though. If y'all are watching, forget about everything that just happened. Like erase that. Look into this right here, and I'm gonna turn the light on. I promise you, I spent more than a hundred thousand dollars on this stuff. Um, <laughs> I promise you, this didn't come out of the. This, this, this just didn't start. Wes, what's up, man? Max, what's good, bro? Thanks for having me on. Now he went back to uh, robot. Oh, there it goes. We good. Hey, hey, Matt. I can hear myself, just so you know. Double back. I got right? echo. Yeah. Forget it. Listen, we gonna power through this. Yo, Wes, tell us, tell us like your 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 story, bro. Tell me, Max. Let's story. get a reset for all of your individuals that are watching. I have my first HUD ever right here. It's on my everything I do. If you know me, it's on a whiteboard. This is the first HUD right here. The pink. The little pink symbol or highlighter you can see there. What's the date on that? Is August, bro, August the 10th, 2020. Oh, so you just passed bro, a year. Just passed a year. And I wouldn't have done any of this if it wasn't for you. And let me help you understand how many individuals I have come across in my one year journey that got their start through your YouTube channel. So first of all, this office was where I watched your first video. And it's crazy right now that you and I are on this uh, on this show. So, bro, big ups for you. Let's reset. Everybody that's watching, man, when you're on the forefront of content and when you're really trying to make a play in the world of content, like, and you got a team, it, it's a whole nother animal to manage. I wish I could so the show fact you that you guys were able I to see, do this is crazy. I wish I could show you guys out here what it's like to set up this, right? Right. Maybe one, maybe one day I do a YouTube video on like the set. If we could just flip this camera out one time and show you all this stuff. But yeah, it's crazy. But What's crazy is Max, when he's doing this, he's the producer, the editor. <laughs> he is the director. Like he's wearing six different hats and talking about wholesaling and real estate. Crazy. We Bro, what's good time. though, man? Let's, uh, let's get into this. Talk to me, Max. Let's, uh, let's roll. Yo, so a lot of people say... Um, there's a there's a slight echo, but we're, we're, he's figuring this out. But the, the point that I'm saying is. You didn't do like a program of mine, like you literally went out there, watched some YouTube videos and and boom, you got your game started. You you never bought none of uh, not a course that I did like nothing like that. You literally. But see, that takes a certain individual that takes like a self starter. Mm. You know, and so Max went out. When I was watching your video, I had $1.96 in my bank account, bro. Tell it, tell it, boy, tell it. <laughs> and I had just ended a career managing a guy who's blowing up on social media right now. Okay. And we had worked together. I hear you, Matt, working through it. We're going to get there. And bring my volume up. We, my had, volume up. we had worked together to create a really um, fruitful speaking business but it wasn't the right word world for me it wasn't the right business it wasn't right the fit when i was watching your first video i had a phd bro i was poor hungry and desperate yeah one dollar 96 cents in my bank account and i started i literally went to your youtube channel <clears throat> and filtered the videos to the very first one you did that's what i tell people started with, all the time that's it I tell people, start from the bottom. Start with the old stuff. Why would I go against Drake, bro? If he say you got to start at the bottom, like we we just started the bottom, and now we're here. Like it, it is what it is. You know, and, and for, for me, the reason why I tell most people to start at the bottom is because and and bottoming like my old videos because I was the same thing. I didn't have no money back then, and I was and I'm and I'm and I was hungry, and I was showing the game. I was just so. Yo, I've been doing YouTube for. 
almost five, six years now. I just put out a course last year, just last year. So a lot of right. people have came across my videos, but these people are self-starters. These people were gonna figure out a way to do it anyways. I just happen to be that spark into them. And you're one of them. Kind of kind of run us through, uh, run us through your first deal because I remember that first deal story. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so it was probably, let's see, the deal came back to summer of 2020. And I started a fix and flip business because I thought that was what I wanted to do. I had no idea about wholesale at that point. Uh -huh. And following your videos, you talk about banding signs. That's the thing that you start. And I started throwing out banding signs. Okay. I'm sitting in my house. I'm throwing out three dollar signs. Are you hearing the echo? Is it is it rattling you, Max? No, you good. I'm throwing out three dollar sign bandit signs, and all of a sudden I get a call from Wilson, North Carolina. I never got a call on my Google Voice number this whole two to three months. <laughs> Wilson, North Carolina. I had to geographically Google where the hell. Wilson, North Carolina is. Guy calls me, says, look, I just inherited a couple of properties. My father just passed. The properties are in Wilson and I'm located in Charlotte. I just saw your bandit sign. These are the two addresses. They're right beside each other. Are you interested? I said, pull up Enterprises LLC. I'm driving to Wilson. So I'm driving out to Wilson, North Carolina, three and a half hours from Charlotte, North Carolina, where I live. Oh, wow. I'm watching Max Maxwell and Jerry Norton videos the whole way. I get to Wilson. There's nobody there. I look at the houses. There's no chance anybody's going to buy them in Wilson. <laughs> I put my head down. I'm like, man, I got to keep going through this, even though I don't think I can do it. Bro, I shit you not. I'm on the drive back from Wilson. I'm 25 minutes away from Raleigh. And a guy calls me in Raleigh whose brother told him about a bandit sign in Charlotte to buy a house. He calls me 25 minutes from Raleigh. He says, I'm in Raleigh. I got a property that just got aired to us. My father just died. I got six brothers. We need to sell right now. The my mom's living with me. He won't go back to the house. Bro, serendipitously pull up at the house. I have no idea about the Raleigh market. Yeah. So Walk up to the house. It's dilapidated. I'm on the way back from Wilson to look at two other houses. I get a call serendipitously from a dude whose brother's in Charlotte. He's in Raleigh. He asked me to stop. I said, sure. Can't wait. See you in a second. Walk through the house, take a walkthrough video. I will never delete this video off of my phone. This house was terrible. There were six cars with all flat tires. It, there was four brothers standing outside. <laughs> they looked at me like I was an investor and I had money and they were ready to talk. Worst comes to worst, they're like, we want, we want 100 grand. I'm like, let me go home, do my due diligence. I'll give you a, I'll give you an offer tomorrow. I'm shitting my pants, Max. I never got to this place. I haven't even got a call off my bed at size. <laughs> I didn't know what to do. So I got home, excited, gung-ho, ready to go. I sent them an offer. The offer's at, at $100,000. He says, absolutely, we're, we're ready to go. We're, we're excited. Until he comes back. And he says, uh, by the way, uh, you're going to take the property as is, right? You're going to take the cars. You're going to take all the stuff inside. Like, you're going to take everything, right? Max, I didn't even have an assignment contract. Bro, I didn't even have the next step in, in, in the funnel of the uh, steps that you have to take. You ain't got to know. You ain't got to know. What do you think I did? You put that bad boy on the contract. What you talking about? And you I sent him the rest. contract. <laughs> I sent him the contract. He said, okay, 105. Boom. Next thing I did was figure out who's the closing attorney who's going to take this contract. 
Facebook group, investor Facebook group. Boom, they sent me to the next guy, Harry Marsh in Charlotte. Shout out Harry Marsh. Gave me the assignment contract. Next thing I did was hop on a Jerry Norton video. Mm -hmm. How to go through Zillow and find people that have flipped properties within the last year in that area. Yep. Solving the next problem that's in front of me, bro. I'm not afraid. I'm in action, bro. I'm playing full court press, high transition. Like we are winning. We are not going to lose. I'm getting this shit out the mud one way or another. Next thing you know, third conversation I get from Zillow. Lady calls me up. She says, hey, I'm flipping a property down the street. What do you want for this property? I don't even have an assignment contract yet. I said, uh, 120. I didn't even know how to calculate what to ask for. Hadn't gotten that far yet. Didn't matter. I was confident. Throughout 120, she said, send me the, send me the assignment contract. Get out of town. I was like, wait, what? So then I had to beat down the door of Harry to get the assignment contract. Save you a long story, long story boring. Got it under contract. Closed. August the 10th, I got 14 grand. I'm six businesses deep now, Max. I know what to do with 14 grand. You better believe it. I'm not new to this. I'm true to this, right? Like <laughs> I retired MLS Major League Soccer in 15 and started my entrepreneurial journey five years ago. I know what to do. Timing lined up with opportunity. Mm -hmm. Preparation lined up with opportunity. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and one year later, Max, here we are. Let's go. That's crazy, man. So you, you, it's, 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 and that's what I tell people. A lot of people want to know everything all at once. Like, you know, what's happening, what's going down. And it's like, that ain't what it is. Like you mm -hmm. literally have to find out what it is step by step by step. And if you got the, like you talk about in your whole life, you've been going hard. And since you've been going hard, like, you know, it shows right here. And this is what I tell people all the time. When a lot of people ask questions and ask questions, and it's like, yeah, ask these questions, but yo, you got to make a step forward. You have to make a crazy step forward because if not, you would have left that 14,000. I mean, that that's that was the that was the amount of money I got on my first deal, 14,000. Yep. And like you said, at that point, I'm already I'm already you know, I'm already 10, 11 businesses deep. I done, I done messed up 10, 11 times before this. I know what to do next. And so That's why you connected with me, Max. That's the connection point. So for you now, what's your team look like now? What does it look like? Man, shout out to my squad, bro. KGI, a lot of these guys are in the building, man. Shout out Duke. Shout out Jordan. Shout out Blaine. Uncle Nate. Mm -hmm. Shout out Ray. Shout out Ivory. We've got 13 individuals right now. Crazy. Gage, Gene. But here's the thing. This is the issue that I see with the real estate world. This is the issue that I see between wholesalers and agents. I come from team sport. Shout out to Edson Buttle, your cousin that I played many, many years, played for the LA, LA Galaxy. He just had his own statue in LA. Like he is legitimately one of the best forwards that ever wore a Galaxy jersey. Fact. And it's the guy that you were sleeping on the couch in LA, right? Exactly, That's a lot of people know that side. Shout out, Edson. Shout out, Edson. Uh, here's the thing. Cohesiveness in the game of, of football, soccer, where I come from, is all, they, they say move the ball. The game is all about one and two touch. If you try to rely on your own personal ability, you'll fail, unless your name is Cristiano or Lionel. And you one, can literally, one player can break down 11 players. That, that's, that's like a, a, a one or two in a lifetime player. Generate like multi generational player, right? Correct. We can agree. Even if you don't like soccer, you understand who those guys are. Here's the thing the game of football is about moving the ball around the field, it's about literally as quickly as you can moving the defense from this from side to side until you can find an over numbered situation a two versus one or a three versus two, and then you can identify the weakness and exploit. So you have to move the ball sometimes 15, 20 passes before you have an offensive attack. Yep. You got to love your teammate. And when I got into this arena, agents hate wholesalers. 
Wholesalers hate agents. Lenders want to take advantage of everybody. It felt like the most competitive environment. And I'm looking at it fresh, thinking, you got it backwards. There's two sides of this. A deal and money. Period. Somebody's got the deal. Somebody's got the money. Somebody has the ball. Somebody's in a better position to score. Period. That's the game. Yep. All right, so here's the game. Let me go find a, an individual that can help me find more deals, and then let me go find an agent that can help me sell these deals. Period. First individual on my roster, Stephen Duke. Shout out, Duke. Been with me since this whiteboard we carried on the, on the top of our uh, car because we didn't have a truck and couldn't fit it on the back. So we drove for 40 minutes, my hand out the driver's seat, his hand out the passenger seat, and we're holding the whiteboard up just to make it happen, whatever it takes. Yeah. Next thing I found was Jordan Smith. Shout out Jordan Smith. That's the agent you shouted out from Rock Hill in the beginning. Mm -hmm. I found guys that can help me get deals. I found a guy that's investor friendly, who knows how to put properties that are wholesale deals on the MLS. That's the biggest buyer's list there is. That changed Let's the game for you, didn't it? Changed the game, bro. It's over. You got to learn how to win with friends. That's it. You, but you know, this here's, entire here's the thing, though, Wes. A Go lot ahead. of a lot of you being able to build a team is is really uh, on your leadership and you being a team player probably your whole life, because it's hard yep. to build a team. It's very very hard to build a team. Um, keep them motivated. Keep them believing in you. I mean, you was probably building a team when you ain't even have no money. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't talking about 14000 I'm not talking about that type of money. I'm talking bigger money to be able to, for them to believe in you. Somebody yep. has a question, though. They said, they said, uh, what did you do with the 14000 Boy, I don't know who that is, but I like that person. This is a uh, sports center moment. Yeah. <laughs> what did you do with that fourteen grand, Wes? First thing I did was hire a virtual assistant. Okay. And to, I to made do a what? T-chart. To do what? I made a T-chart. If you know me and you follow me, you'll see everything I do is on a whiteboard. Mm -hmm. What I like, what I don't like. So I wrote down everything on that whiteboard I didn't like. In this business. In the business. And I trained a virtual assistant to retire me from that so I could have the clarity mentally to focus on the next thing. Hired a virtual assistant. Shout out to Cheryl. She runs our, she's my Leica. Okay. She runs everything. And I, I went to your YouTube channel and I watched the video that said 100, 100K real estate business infrastructure or Still whatever. It's one it was. of my favorite videos up there that people don't go back and it's watch. It's the best. There's only one video that's better, bro. And I already told you this. It's the conveyor belt video. Yep. There's only two videos that are the best the conveyor belts, one, and the 100K infrastructure is two. And that video is from, I believe, 2017. Bro, it lives rent-free in my head forever. <laughs> so you, you went out and got a, a virtual assistant, spent the $14,000, and started delegating tasks that you didn't like, like to do every day. I needed her to know exactly what was going to happen from the ground up. Now, here's the key. I interviewed a lot of virtual assistants. When I was interviewing virtual assistants, my interview process was to make them – make them do tasks mm -hmm. they needed to create google sheets for me they needed to to create uh crms for me they needed to do all of the things that i didn't really want to do yeah. and if they could do them to completion then they got a chance to get on a zoom with me only after that only after that and they were building parts of my business that i didn't want to do because part of me is lazy i'm a visionary right I'm a high driver. I want to move forward. I don't, I want to live here like you. I don't want to live in the detail orientation. Correct. So they were moving my business along. And then I started to see the detail orientation of Cheryl. And I knew I had my person. I started her at the ground level. She needed to learn as we move every part of this business so that I call it vertical integration. She could train every single individual underneath us. So I never spent a moment training anyone from this point forward because she had the keys to the castle. The only thing I needed to do was protect myself from her keys. And that's the SOPs. 
-hmm. document every single thing that you do and those documentations live here and your execution lives there. So I started there and then I put it back into launch control, SMS, and I bought lists. What it's lists did I buy? Like, yeah, that question right there. How much did you invest back into like advertising and marketing? Bro, I took a, a, I took two thousand dollars. Because the house you live in right now is a two thousand dollar mortgage. My wife literally has zelled me four or five months in a row, making sure we got by and believing in me while she knew I figured it out and she was betting on me. So I took two thousand dollars to pay the mortgage for 30 days. And I put the rest, all of it back in the business. That's crazy. Max, Max, within 21 days, we have four more deals lined up. <laughs> in Charlotte, where at? Where at? So we were all outside of Charlotte. We were in Rock Hill. We were in Gastonia. We were in Kannapolis and Concord. We were outside the metro market, too competitive inside of Mecklenburg County. Mm -hmm. But here's the thing I want to say to every individual that's there. If you're not looking for a realtor right now who's investor friendly, that can take some of your properties and remove you from having to list these properties through the conventional play. Go to Facebook investor groups, build a, build a buyer's list. If you can think creatively and move to where the eyes are and understand the demand and be the anti Scrooge McDuck. Yeah. Write this down for anybody. You are a Scrooge McDuck if you want to dominate the deal. If you want to be the highest paid individual on the HUD, you have a tendency of Scrooge McDuck. If you want to get the deal done and you're willing to cut other people in to win with your friends, you will, your staying power, your influence, and your legacy will outlast you, period. You are Scrooge McDuck if you want to be 60 40, if you want to be 70 30. If you want to be 80, 20, if you can take an individual who's also a real estate professional and you can cut them into the deal fairly and think long term, you're going to win in this business for a long, long time. And Max, I know you know this Gary V template. People are going to show up to your funeral. You're going to change people's lives. Yeah. People are going to care about you. You're going to put money in their pocket. They're going to be able to feed their families, feed their kids, change their worlds. This shit ain't about us, bro. This is about what you can do for everyone else. Wholesaling, real estate. Max, let me say it one time for the people in the back. This is a vehicle, bro. To do whatever you want to do. Yes, sir. This is a vehicle. So, Wes. And if you. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm out here preaching, bro. I'm sorry. Yeah, I want to hear, hear it. That's why I hang out with you. Listen, bro. If if you ride a motorcycle and you got no passengers, it's going to be a long ride for you. You got to see your business as a limousine. We're riding. Let's go. Let so, me tell you the infrastructure of why we have 14 individuals that work with yeah, us. Yeah, let me, let's hear that breakdown. Every single thing that we do is JVs. Okay. Everything. Every individual that we work with has their own LLC. They're cut out on the HUD. Their financial institution gets a wire just like me. Okay. Okay. And this is how it works. The business, my business that generates the lead, pays for the marketing, pays for the group of VAs, pays for the office, pays for all the overhead. So we can remove the issue that most wholesalers have. Yep. Where do I, where do I get the leads? How do I pay for the leads? How do I pay for the virtual assistants? How do I train? How do I go to places where other virtual assistants are? You don't have to worry about that. Come here. Hit these leads. Talk to these people. Stay with the group. Let's underwrite it together. It's a collective consciousness of underwriters. Here's how we split it. You close the deal. Get it under contract. 50% of the deal goes to the business. That's so we can keep the business growing, period. You make 25, Jordan Smith, dispo guy, he manages every single dispo. He makes 10, that's 35% left. 
I make a small 15% because I'm in the deal and we keep it moving. So every Everybody single one of your acquisition up. guys has the responsibility of running their own business, but you take away a lot of the infrastructure cost in order to run the yes. business. So if they hustle, they eat. If they don't, That's it. they don't. And so you be able, you're able to bring the infrastructure and let them use the infrastructure so they can go out and do what salespeople do best and find the deals. And so that's, that's it. That you know what you, what you just explained is the is the premise for Venture Atlas. And that's why we have that's why we have 60 desks up there. You your own boss, you come work, bring your, you bring the deals, we'll work them. Is that simple? Max, I never when I walked into your office, I knew the future of business is what you had created. Yeah. So it's here's the thing that most individual here's the thing that most individuals need to remember. When you look yourself in the mirror, remember that business is a long game. Your reputation is really what you're building. Your wealth, right? Your mindset, your your uh, uh, your, your your ability to earn, your ability to influence. These are all different components. The most important thing is your reputation and the way you can work with others in your community. At the end of the day, so many individuals want to choose short game. They want 15 grand instead of five. Mm -hmm. And then they learn over time that individuals don't want to work with them anymore because everything that they do wraps back to improving their own gains, not interested in their own development. So when I saw that, when I walked into Venture Atlas, and I saw guys like headphones in, everybody's grinding. You had the attorney, your best friend, attorneys here. Yep. You had transaction coordinators. Yep. You had the whole infrastructure for your business. You had Vancouver Whitecaps in my left. You had a training room. You had the, the place where the coaches were. You had the place in the locker room. You had the recovery room. You had an infrastructure for complete holistic success. Yep. And all the players needed to do was play. So here we go. So how, how did you how did you convince so how did you find these individuals that wanted to be acquisitions that said, yo, I'm just gonna rock with you because what it, it's gotta be something about you. How you find them? What's that? The energy. I'm about, I'm about to get weird on you. <laughs> Make it weird. Guys, this is the Citrine Rock. If you like Google, C I T R I N E. Okay. Okay. Citrine is a grounded energy that attracts wealth, prosperity, and focus. Now, at our very core, we are all energy. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's it. I don't go and find anybody. I don't look for anyone. I know who I am. I know what I'm doing. I know where I'm going. And I show up authentically. And when I show that, I magnetically attract other energies. And because everyone knows that my core business model is win with your friends, they know I'm not going to Scrooge McDuck them at any point. They see the HUD. They see the breakdowns. There is no veil. It's transparency. So people can write this see, down. For everyone listen. Write, yeah, write get this your down. Pens out. Give them a give, give them a second to get their pens. The out. truth right. is undefeated. The proof can't beat the truth. The truth. The, the truth. truth is, the truth is undefeated. The truth is undefeated. It's one. In, it is infinity and O. Mm. You can't beat it. If you look people in their eye, you tell them the truth. You show them what you, where you want to go for them, and you listen to what they want, and you help them get it. It's undefeated. So now y'all see why I brought, um, why why I actually brought him on here is because he's a great storyteller. Uh, we go to the cigar bar, and we're just able to sit there and talk. <laughs> And just just chop it up. And the guy's good at what he does. You know what I'm saying? It's like 
he's good at he's he's good at telling stories. Actually, when I when I met him, I was like, yo, you got you got to get a podcast or something just to be able to, you know, tell stories, bro, because you you be able to tell good stories. But right now, let's let's take a few questions from the audience, right? So this this question is geared towards me, but it's geared towards us. Wes, if you had two hundred two thousand dollars, what would you do first to get started? If you had two grand. Mm. Depending on the market. Yeah. Okay. Depends on the market. First thing I do, I have to say what I did. I can't pontificate. I can't lie. I'd get a VA. Okay. The next thing I do, that VA is going to be $5 an hour. Okay. That's, you know, times eight. That's $40 a day. All right. You got plenty of money left over. Yep. Next thing you do is you go into marketing. I don't like to cold call. But it's one of the most effective forms of cold calling. Yep. So the next thing I do is I would hire a cold caller. Or if you don't, if you like me and don't like hiring a cold caller, you get into launch or batch or REI Rail or any individual uh, software where you can communicate in a mass way. Yeah, go get REI. That's where I was. That's where it's at. REI Rail. (laughs) So, so Wes, check this out. So. You know, it's crazy because you you have that answer, and I have I have a I have a different answer, but they're both right. And so, if I had two thousand dollars, I'm gonna go put that two thousand dollars away, put it under my pillow, and I'm not gonna get a VA right away. And this is me speaking, right? Because I'm not that organized of a person. So if I hire a VA, I don't really know what to tell them to do yet. And so I'm just gonna be burning forty dollars a day that I don't really have. And so what I would do is I would jump in my car and I would drive around the city you live in. I would spend as much time as possible, right? You can, uh, you can go download the REI Rail Drive app, uh, drive around your city, pin, pin these properties, get back to the house and call them. I know calling's tough. Everybody hates calling. I just dropped a video on breaking down a cold call. But I think it's important for you to go out and do these things before you hire somebody else to do it. Now, you may not like it, but at least you're going to know if they're doing a good or bad job other than just the results. And then so once you do this once or twice and you knock down a deal or two, because the the, the best and the fastest way to go find deals without pulling a bunch of lists is go drive for dollars, in my opinion. And so once you go out and, and... and do this once or twice, now you start, hopefully in this whole time, you're documenting your process and what it took. And then you go spend that money and go get that VA. You go hire that cold caller to go do these things. And this is if you don't like it. I'm, I'm like, see, I'm the opposite of us. I like, I like cold calling. I like getting on the phone and busting people in the head. I'm just good at it. <laughs> you know what I mean? And so- you, That's why you're like, Max, don't listen to me. No, 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 no. There is, there is no, and so this is what happened. And this is why I tell people all the time. There is no definite way how to do things. If you're on the Max Maxwell show and you're asking Max that question, I'm going to give you the answer. If you're asking Wes, he's going to give you an answer. But guess both of us are successful in our own right. So there's no wrong answer. This boils down to personality. Do you like cold calling? If you do, don't hire that out. Because you need to be able to train a person and make sure this person is doing it right. VA, I'm with the VA 100%. Your boy don't like to be in Excel sheets. I don't like to do Google Docs. And so you got to know what you're good and bad at. You know, it's it's like, you know, if if uh, if Wes, if we were about to set up to uh, play, um, you know, club soccer or something like that, Wes is going to know where he's good or bad at. He knows he's going to play either play offense or defense as he play in the midfield, as he play back. And he's not going to go up and play where he doesn't know how to play or he's not the best at. He said, yeah, I'm a great defender or whatever. I'm going to play back here. Whatever that is, he's going to do that. And you should do the same thing in your business. So if, you, if you're if you great at organizing stuff, then spend some time doing that or or create your SOPs or document your process so that you can hire somebody else to do it. But get on them phones. Drive around. Because what what I why I like driving for dollars, it gives you a temperature of like your area. It lets you know mm. what side of Charlotte's growing, what side is you don't need to go to because it's already grown. It tells you what side of Gastonia to go hit because I see that it's changing, you know. And so once you learn these things, you know where to be at. You know where what zip code you're going to pull. You know, this could, you can learn this in data, but when you put your eyes on it, it's never going to – it's just not going to say. 
So, Wes, I, I commend you for going out there and building the team the way you did it. It's a model that people don't follow. It's a model that I've been building since 2019. Late 2019, yo, you come work in my office. I went out there. I got an attorney. I got a transaction coordinator. I got VAs. I got the softwares. I own the software companies. I'm going to give you everything you need to be successful. If you grind, you shine. If you don't grind, you go home broke. You eat ramen that night. If you like ramen, don't work. If you want steak, come to work because your efforts is going to show on those HUDs. Mm. And somebody says their REI rail has not worked in a month and a half. Listen, I spent a lot of money on customer service reps. <laughs> so you better get your butt on that phone and call a customer service rep. There's live chats every single day that you could do with a, with, with a person. And so this is, this is a prime example. Now, I'm not picking on this person. I don't even know their name. They just got SG. If you bought something and you know it works, I'm sitting here telling you it works. I've never sold you anything that don't work. I've never told you to go something that worked. You have proven records. If that stops nice. you... Can, I, can I step in for a second? Can I step in for a second? Yeah, go ahead. Guys, here's the reality of the situation. This is the truth. The most successful people in your life that you've ever seen or in life wake up early and they do what other people don't want to do every day, every day, all day long over and over all the time <laughs> say it again it i don't think people true. get that it's really just that simple it's that that's like that's the secret sauce that nobody talks about literally like your advancement in life looks like this man boom small advancement boom small advancement and then you move backwards and then you work again look there's no secret to this max if REI rail is dead, I'm get still, in your car and drive. I used to win without REI rail. Right. Here's the let me let me tell you something that I saw about David Beckham when I was in L, when I was playing against LA. Mm -hmm. Okay. I love David Bex. I got a three quarter sleeve because Bex set the standard. Like <laughs> David Beckham was the Allen Iverson of the MLS. Of, of soccer in the world, right? He started it. He started it. Let me tell you what was different and what sent David from being David Beckham to the best. It was this. When I got to LA Galaxy Arena in 2019, okay? No, sorry, 2009. I was there. David Beckham was there. David Beckham was there four hours before game time. David Beckham was on the field four hours before game time. He had a full-time technical coach. That coach made $66,000 a year to show up early before practice, trainings, and games and do technical drills with Bex four hours before. At three hours, he'd go get – showered he'd get treatment and then he'd get ready for warm-ups and then he'd warm up with the team he'd play a game he'd play all 90 minutes he'd be the best player on the field then he would spend another two hours had the most beautiful wife in the stadium the most beautiful kids in the arena could go home and spend time with his family but he was mama mentality obsessed about the focus of what he was trying to accomplish, which was being still one of the best players on the planet. So he would stay and recover for two hours, and then he would leave, and he'd come back the next day early. And I, he, I'm going to tell you that's would, true. I know that's true because I know the girl that did the massages after the game. That's right. <laughs> so here's my question to your group, to everyone that follows Max. What's going to differentiate you from every other wholesaler in your market? That's it. Because when we're, when you're waking up, so are they. When you're making a call, so are they. When you're sending a text, so are they. What's different about you? Nothing. And if you can identify what's different about you and see that it's just a slight edge over time, you should have all the gasoline you need to show up every day. Wes, what time you get up? Yourself. Wes, what time you get up in the morning? 4 15 a.m. and there is no snooze bro 
You got me beat. Where you at? Five. But I know when you wake up, bro, you're straight out. You might as well have your, I bet you have your outfit, which is all black, right beside your bed. So you don't even get into the closet. Yo, if people, if people knew the reason why I wear all black all the time, the only thing I switch is my watch and my shoes and my underwear sometimes. And no, you know, that shoe game, that shit game is nasty. <laughs> you know, that's the only thing I change is because I don't want to have to make these decisions early in the morning. I get up. And I just got to figure out, is it going to be short sleeve black or long sleeve black? And that's mm -hmm. it. And we keep we keep rolling. But the reason why I like to wake up early is because from that time, from five to about eight, nobody bothers me. I get three hours heads up on you every day. Right. Three times five. That's 15 hours every single week. Don't Separation, forget. I, I don't I don't I don't stop on the weekends. So add the extra two mm. days. Right. So that's 15 Separation. plus that's 15 plus six. I'm getting 21 hours on you every single week in just mm. a week. I'm picking up 21 hours over 52 mm. weeks. You do the math. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm like a thousand plus two thousand plus hours above you every year. And right. So you can't, you can't make that time up. And so I just I, I just get it done. There's no excuse for me. Remember, I started this business before when there was no apps. There was no Drive for Dollars app. I used to have to take screenshots of Redfin and Zillow. I never stopped. And so people make excuses that, that they don't want to do this. And I say, you don't want this. Just go get a job. There's nothing wrong with having a job. Be good at being an employee. If you don't want to come on this side and grind and you got to be mm. you because when you get to the when you get to the league, right? When you get to the league, you got to compete with people like me and Wes every day. Every single day, mm. you got to compete with people like me and him. You're not ready for that. And if you are, let's go. I want you to be ready. And that's why I come on here every single day. And I and I just try to help people because at the end of the day, I'm I'm set for life. You know, I'm set for life. People, somebody asked me this question right here. They just popped it. They said, Max, what's your end goal? Wes, what's your end goal? I want an entrepreneurial, entrepreneurial incubator. The exact thing that Real Madrid does, mm -hmm. where they develop their talent mm -hmm. from within, and they, they bring players from U10 Everybody. to U12 uh -huh. to 14 to 18, and they become stars within their organization. I want to have an incubator that attracts the best ideas to Charlotte, actually Huntersville, North Carolina. And there is a space with other beautiful minds that have business acumen that can infuse them into business intelligence and can help them have and bring those success to life. Because just like in hip hop, I used to rep Charlie Rocket. If you watch him on Instagram, he's at Charlie. Used to he used to be the manager of Two Chains, Bankroll Fresh. Right, young Dolph. Listen, the individuals that change the world are the young people, the young folks. The ideas come from the youth. They're the one that shifts the world. So if we can tap into the younger individuals mm -hmm. and infuse capital mm -hmm. and intelligence into their into their ideas and help them have success, um, that's where I want to go. That's 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 what legacy looks like to me to help bring these ideas to fruition. Max, what about you? You know, for me, I don't necessarily know if I have an end game. An end game means that I stop at some point. But there's going to mm. be there's going to be things that I want to accomplish along the way. And one of it is first internally building a legacy type family. I want that name Maxwell to just ring bells like the Rockefeller does when you say it or when you say Vanderbilt. I want it to ring. I want it to be something that my kids, whenever I have them, are proud of holding that last name. But they got to keep up with I started, which is helping people and moving people forward. It only takes one of us to change an entire world or a generation of people because the sparks of fire. Remember, every forest fire starts with one spark. If you decide to wake up every morning and be that spark and not be Scrooge like like Wes was talking about. You'll get out there and you'll change people's lives. You'll never know when, when that, when that, uh, that hello, how you doing, or, or you know, you look good today. You know, hope you have a great day. You never knew know what that does for somebody. And then the one of the best things I ever do for people, 
one of the best things I ever do for myself, not even people, is I show people what I see in them, the power I see in them that they don't see in themselves. And when I can show somebody that and that light switch goes on for them, that gives me an extra vibrant body pack. It gives that's like my Tesla power pack. It allows me to go crazy up. You know what I mean? And so when I sit back and I get to just hear a story from Wes, how he found one of my YouTube videos, how he had a dollar and some change in his bank account. And without even meeting this man before he did his first deal, he 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 knew what he had it in himself. I he's seen a pathway between between me and Jerry. He was able to find a pathway for himself. And so the, that alone, those testimonies and 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 those things power me. And if I can keep going on and on and empowering people, like he said at the beginning, wholesaling is just a a, a vehicle, right? Mm. You like you're not gonna wholesale your way to wealth. It won't happen. It's a, it's it's a it's a it's a tough dirty game. It's easy, but it's tough. Right? You're never going to be the wealthiest man in the world being a wholesaler. Not that you want to be a wealthiest person in the world, but if you want to leave a le leave a legacy, you got to make an impact on people. I put impact over dollars all the time. That's why I haven't been selling y'all stuff since 2016. That's why my YouTube channel has been authentic since 2016. That's why you see me not selling you an Amazon store in 2021. That's why you don't see me switching up and moving from this to this to that. I'm here to stay. I don't need, I'm putting, I'm putting legacy over dollars a long time. I leave an easy 10 million on the table by not being a guru, right? You guys probably don't even know a car I drive, do you? It's not important. <laughs> it's not important. Only reason you know I got a plane is because I like flying and putting plane videos up. And so Max, tell me this. Did you know when you made video number one that it would turn into what it is now? Did no idea. I was I putting that for my friends. You're a, you were a visionary. You 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 have an ability to manifest. You have a unique ability to see around corners. Did you have any idea that you would touch as many people as you have have in what four years? Five years? Five years almost. No. I the answer no. And only God could have seen that. Mm. Like I wasn't put here. I wasn't, I was like, I had no idea that it was going to lead to what it's led to right now. But when I realized in 2018, what the purpose of this was, then you got to understand. So when I was at when listen in 2018, when I had a couple million dollars, you know, in reality from, from, a, from a, from a broke kid, you know, I could have been done in real life. I could have just went the conservative route, bought a house for 120, live regular, and get a Honda Accord and just live the rest of my life out on the on the interest on my money from investing. And you know, so because I didn't want to, because somebody helped me realize the reason why God gave me this, this, um, you know, the ability to go out and do it, I had to keep going. So I put legacy over dollars all the time, bro. Every time. Max, I got a unique I got a unique opportunity for for your group, for everybody watching. Every Friday, Max, we run this thing. You have probably seen it before. Every Friday at the office, we run this thing called Cigar Friday. Mhm. Mm I don't know if I have a cigar. I don't even Whoop. I was about to say it like a little box over there. I was like right here. All right, so what we do, guys, is that's the space where we're grinding all week. And we give an opportunity for individuals to come in. And if you're new, ask questions. If you're certified to come in and talk about your story and to share. Max, I'd love to give the opportunity to anyone that's within driving distance of Charlotte, North Carolina, to, to pull up on us on Friday and come spend a little time around our mindset. Come see what we're doing. Come mm -hmm. I, the way you peeled back the veil for me, bro. I don't, what was it? Eight months ago, you invited me into venture Atlas. You sat me down in the team down in your office and you gave me a view 30,000 foot view of what you have going on. 
I would love to reciprocate that for somebody else and pass that on. That'd so every Friday, Cigar Fridays, we start at 9 a.m. You don't have to light up a cigar. Some guys do, some guys don't. Conversations are mindset. Uh, conversations are wholesaling. Conversations are investing. Conversations are business oriented. We got business owners coming in from all places. I'd love to extend the opportunity. Anybody who feels like they're in driving distance of Charlotte, North Carolina, that would like to pull up because I've got to get back to some guys, some girls, some individuals who have that hunger in their belly that want to pull up mm-hmm. like I like I did like I did with you, man. So anybody out there that would love to 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 pull up and to see what we're doing, to learn some things, to teach us and impart some wisdom on us, man, I would love to give the opportunity to anybody on that. Y'all heard it. He gave y'all an open invite. Listen, drop your uh drop your IG real quick. Tell people where to find you on Instagram so they go follow you real quick. All right. Uh at Wesley T Knight. So W E S L E Y T Knight, K N I G H T. It's real easy. Hit me there. If you can't find me, just hit Max. He's likely not going to see it in his DMs, and that's okay. <laughs> I was about to say, I probably but, won't see that. Yeah, but uh, I'm going to give out my number right here, my personal number. Anybody oh, wait, hold on, wait, hold on, wait, 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 wait. Yeah. You sure you, you, sure you want to do that? Let's do it. Anybody that wants <laughs> to pull up to the spot with the ceiling missing, pull up on us. All right. I'm going to say it like Mike Jones, 843-276-1566. Shoot me a text. If you shoot me a text, the only thing you say in the text is Cigar Friday. The only thing I'll respond after that is the location. And we'll go from there. But I have to I have to speak from the heart and I have to say, look, everyone that gave that 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 wants the opportunity to come and ha- and be exposed Max, you gave it to me. I gotta get. I gotta keep it going. Just like the soccer analogy, I have to keep the ball moving, bro. I have to yeah. keep it moving. Um, so, I'm just. I'm just excited to be a part of of your story. I hope it it doesn't stop, man. I hope we can have some more cigars. Oh but yeah, for sure. It here's here's the one question I got for you. Yeah. Where are you going? Where are you going next? What's I may next be in. Your radar? I may be in Saudi Arabia next week. What? Yeah. Go on, man. Go I ahead. <laughs> Let me hear it. I'm all over the place, man. So I, I'll, I'll, you know, if I do go, there'll be videos about it, obviously. But um, yeah, man. This is uh, it's a uh, it's a good opportunity, man. I'm all over the place, man. I'm all over the place. Worldwide, bro. Well, listen. I tell you where you going next. I need to bring you into the studio. Let's do a a real podcast. Let's sit down. Um, let's. I wanted to wait till my new studio was built uh, behind the house, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go ahead and do it now because the new studio has a cigar room in it, full humidor, the whole nine. Um, so there's a box right over here that's waiting on you, Max. All you got to do is send me the address of the new address. I've got uh, 50 cigars, all Cuban rolled, all ready for your humidor. So you just got to let me know when that when that is, and it will be hand delivered to you, brother. We, Your we house, that, beautiful, dude. Come on, when is the yeah. when's the when's the first date? <sighs> I don't know, man. I got wild stories. I talked to you about it over a cigar, but it's it's just it's interesting, man, to get this house done. It's just everything is everything is moving in the right direction. Hopefully, we get in there soon. But look, man, Wes, this has been good. This is like an impromptu, like like we just hit Wes up a couple yeah. hours ago and was like, "Yo, come come live with us." And so I'm glad you did. I'm glad people will be able to introduce you to you. I like introducing people to genuine people. Um, Wes invited me out for a cigar just to say thank you one night. Now we're friends. We text. We go to get cigars together. And we're going to continue to do that. But I'm going to bring him in the studio. We're going to do a real podcast. And, um, yo, somebody made a good point. Yeah, somebody made a good point. It was like, yo, it's like 200 people watching 73 likes. Just do me and Wes a favor and just click the like button. It costs mm. you nothing. It costs you absolutely nothing. Click the like right. button. Listen, you know what it is. Right. Every single Wednesday at 7 p.m., I go live. We we just talk. We do the game. Uh, big ups to my guy, Wes, for coming through. I'm going to make sure he gets on a podcast. I know we didn't get to do too much Q&A, but I think it was great to hear Wes's story. Wes is my guy. Make sure you go follow him on uh, Instagram. I just put his stuff up right there. Text his number if you want to go to Cigar Friday. I don't know why the hell he put his real number up there, but good luck to you. 
because this video will get about 5,000 views by tomorrow, man. So uh, good luck to you, man. Be safe. I love y'all. See y'all next week. Love, Appreciate y'all.